Once upon a time, a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a way and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I mutter, tapping at my chamber door, and only this and nothing more. Uh, distantly, I remember it was in the bleak dis um, December, and each separate dying ember wore its ghost upon the floor. Angry, I wish, eagerly, I wish of more Earl Vane. I had sought to borrow for my book sources of sources, source for the the lost Lenore. For the rare and radiant maiden whom the angels name Lenore, name is here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terror, terrors never felt before. So that now to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating to some visitors and treating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating an entrance at my chamber door. This it is and nothing more. Presently my soul grew stronger, hesitating no longer. Sir, I said, or madam, truthfully, your forgiveness is implored. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door. That scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide in my door, the door. Darkness there and nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering long, I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken and the still gave no token and, and the only word there was spoken was a whisper a whisper word Lenore. This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word Lenore, merrily and this and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window. Let, this, let me see, then what three is it? Is and the mis this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Then that thought the air grew dense of perfume from an unseen center, sung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tuft floor. Wretch, I cried, thy God hath let thee, by these angels he hath sent thee. Respite, respite. Anathem night from thy memories of Renor. Quack, oh, quack, this kind of and forget this lost Renor. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Pro prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird of devil, whether tempest sent or whether tempest tossed thee here and there. Desolate yet all undaunted on this desert land enchanted on this home by horror haunted tell me truly i implore is there is there bomb there bomb of gilead tell me tell me i implore quote the raven nevermore prophet i said thing of evil the prophet still of a bird or, or devil by the heavens that blend above us, by the God we both adore. Tell the soul with sorrow laden if within the distant Aiden it shall clasp thy sainted maiden womb, the angel's name Lenore. Clap a rare and regular maiden who the angel named Lenore. Well, the raven, nevermore. Be that word or sign of pardon, bird or shriek, upstarting, get thee back, 
into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black bloom as a token of thy lie, thy soul has, hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the bust above my door. The, take thy beak out from um, my heart and take thy form from off my door, cruel the raven, nevermore. Oh. And the raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting, on the pallid bust of palace just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon that is dreaming, and the light of light over him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out the shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lift nevermore.